Cooper pledged more support for those recovering from Hurricane Matthew. He announced new grant money and plans to help prevent problems with the levee in Lumberton. WRL's Gilbert Bays was with the governor as he toured areas in Robinson County, and Gilbert joins us now live. Gilbert. Hey, uh, Cox Pond here, and uh, it's not too far from the levee that caused a lot of problems uh, flooding downtown Lumberton. Now, I was told when Hurricane Matthew came through here, the water stood about seven feet high, obviously over my head. And most of that water, we're told, a lot of it went down to Mary Smith's house. It was so bad that, you know, I, I, I couldn't see it being repaired. Mary Smith has lived in this house near the Lumberton levee just about all of her life. Today, she got a visit from Governor Roy Cooper. Smith's home suffered minor flooding in 2004, so she raised it. But it wasn't enough to keep Hurricane Matthew flood water out in October. We were waiting for the boat because when it was at, to the top step, we decided we had to leave. Governor Cooper also stopped by the levee and reviewed maps that showed what happened. Lumberton's mayor says the levee didn't break. Instead, the water went around it. I was on the bridge when it literally took this railroad track away. Rocks, sand, rails, everything just washed it away. I had no idea that that much water could be that powerful. The governor says the city is getting $100,000 to figure out how to fix the problem. Cooper also announced more than $800,000 in grant money for churches and other nonprofit organizations that are helping to rebuild and getting families back in their homes. Obviously, we hope that there is more to come, and we know that the labor that is being provided by these volunteers is invaluable. I think it's nice, and I appreciate what he said about fixing the levee, too. I think that'll help a lot. And, you know, the nomads of the Methodist Church uh, helped uh, Mary Smith get back into her home in December. That's just two months after the storm came through. They're still at the house helping to make some repairs even today. Uh, Deborah, they hope that the $100,000 $100, survey can be completed in about three months so they can put that to try to fix the problem uh, near this pond and near the levee. Mm -hmm. All right. Gilbert Bay is live in Lumberton. Thank you. Building supplies were stolen.